Welcome back this Wednesday afternoon where we definitely, of course, find your way, get over those challenges, get eating healthy, and of course, not doing anything that you shouldn't be doing. And the reason I'm saying this because the documentary that we're reviewing today actually is going to shed so much of light on the things that we are doing that are affecting us nowadays, and it's called Take Your Pulse. But in studio, I have all my wonderful team with me, and let me introduce you. I have Zukia Sheikh. I have Sister. Come on, tell me your name. Did you forget my name? No. We all know Shazia is your favorite, Auntie <laughs> Defisa. No, no, it's like that. <laughs> We're giving her a chance to have her say. Okay, you know? okay. <laughs> so, okay, we have Shazia with us. Shazia doesn't okay, want to give Shaz. us her name. <laughs> and Alia Lehe, and uh, they're part of our wonderful team that, of course, make us shine every Wednesday and Thursday afternoon here on Tsunami Media. But um, today we're going to be discussing a topic that I think is hot and happening, and it's very important uh, to bring some light to the matter. So, ladies, let's get started on this. Talk to us about a documentary review that we watched on Netflix called Take Your Pulse. Shaz, you're lucky number one. Always. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, Take Your Pulse. It was a very interesting documentary. It was about ADHD, ADD, and mental health, basically. And I think it's very important to shed some light on mental wellness because it is Mental Wellness Month. And as we know, there are a whole lot more people than there were before suffering from the situation. And I'm sure you ladies would agree with me. Yes, 100%. Um, so I think just coming back to the essence of the documentary, um, it's basically about taking your pills is about this performance enhancement drug, which is called in America, they call it Adderall. Now in South Africa, our students, Alia, Shaz, will know it as <laughs> Concerta. Because, um, so it's basically students take this, it enhances their performance, it allows them to focus, it allows you to get your work done. And um, I'm sure you guys also have heard about a lot of people that take this on the daily. Alt, what do you think? Yeah, no, it definitely is a very common thing these days. Um, a lot of people don't know about it. Um, well, the older generations, if I can say that. Uh, <laughs> but us in campus, we definitely know that we have to push those long hours. And, you know, that's why this drug has become so prevalent in our, you know, groups, friend groups. Um, it's such a common... ADHD is such a, a prevalent thing in... Um, university in school so you know it's it's something that is accessible and that's why you know it's it's the end thing Shazia yeah, it's accessible yeah. but my question now is do you have to have ADHD to take it because I notice it's a general consensus with university students they just need it to so-called focus on what they're doing and they feel I, I don't know whether it's psychological or whether it really does help but they feel as though this drug is the thing for them it gives them that extra shot where they can go forward and for, concentrate extra hard on what they need to do and of course achieve what they want but can this be done without it so we were having this discussion earlier and I was actually shocked that it happened so often here in these universities because I thought it only happened in America so I was a little bit shocked, but I think from the documentary's point of view, they showed us a lot of the positives. I didn't see anything negative about taking all these drugs and all these medication. And I personally don't take medication at all for anything. I'd rather go herbal or go natural than take any type of medication. So I was a bit surprised by how often it happens. And also, I was also... After the documentary ended, I, I, I sat on my bed and I was like, should I actually be on this drug? Like, <laughs> do we need it? <laughs> do I need mind? it? <laughs> I was going to ask you, so did you start thinking that you need to take your pill? I, I actually did. Like, I was like, maybe this is going to help me improve in life. You know, like maybe I need it and it will make a difference. Like, where can I get this? Do I need a prescription? Should I go and see a doctor now and ask them about, like a million questions were going through my mind and I was I, I actually took myself by surprise asking those questions. <laughs> what is your take on it? Um, I think I was, I, I felt the same. Honestly, I felt like, whoa, if this is, because they were only giving us the positives. And they were like, listen, it's going to make you awesome at everything you do. And that's so attractive. Like you automatically feel like I need this because we're all trying to just be the best at 
everything at, mm-hmm. at what we do. But I feel like I was also looking, my take on it, I was also looking at the root of it. And what they said is that we live in a hyper competitive society. And there's so much of pressure. We were saying earlier on, Alia, that like, there's so much of pressure. I think you can agree um, from the time you're born, you know, you need to go to a certain preschool, you need to go to a certain university, get that degree. And it's societal pressures, it's parental pressures, and that leads you to taking these drugs. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it's definitely having to try to keep up with yourself with the amount of things that you do. Yes. But let me let you in on a little secret. I do like 50 things in the day and I don't need concert. Look at that. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so I think it's a... Should we say um, it's a personal thing? There's some people that feel that they need it and it might help them, depending on the individual and the types of uh, situations and circumstances they're in, of course. Um, other people can do with a demanding lifestyle, whether some can't. And um, um, as we were saying, university is not one of the easiest things to go through. I have a son who's, who's, who's been doing that. Um, and it gets very demanding because there's the assignments, there's the projects, there's the tests, there's everything. literally a bit of everything yes. happening there. So, Alia, what is your take? on this i think it's important to um, acknowledge that it is illegal and you know if you're not prescribed the drug you shouldn't be taking taking it mm-hmm. um what i noticed in the documentary is that they don't focus enough on um you know overdose and misuse mm-hmm. um basically people that are prescribed it um they excel with it because you know it's it works well for them but the pro- issue comes in where it's obviously abused, misused, sold um, with no prescriptions because of these performance enhancing stimulants that. Yes, that's true. Yeah. I think we should put it out to actually listeners. So if anybody out there is listening, um, let us know on our WhatsApp line and I will give it to you in a second. Let us know your experience using it and also an experience i think of being around people who have used it Mm -hmm. and who skip a day or two like the difference in their personality change is there a difference that actually happens how much better do you perform was it and was out did you can send all your questions and uh queries and speak to us on 061 766 yeah and we'd like to hear your take on it because um I look at it from a multivitamin point of view, um, coming from a different generation, of course. Um, it's like taking a multivitamin. You know, mm-hmm. if you take it for the day, you feel, yeah, I'm yeah, I've got that energy and I can move and I can go and this is doing it for me. Whereas psychologically, when you don't take it that particular day and you've forgotten and you feel, oh, I can't cope with myself exactly. because I didn't do uh, do that and I didn't take it. Now I can't do as much as I used to. But um, I think there's ways to deal with this, uh, uh, of course, and, and, and our lifestyles and what we can do with our lifestyles to be able to to cope with the every single day demanding things that we come across and what would you say about that um can i just say like fr- watching the documentary you guys would agree that they're very pr- uh, pro concerta um it's 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 pr- uh, prompting you to to take it and yes. there are negative effects and let's speak about that for a minute i feel like there's a lot of negative effects uh, attached to it long term low self esteem dependency all of these things and it's it's something we're going to eventually lead to so it's definitely something that we shouldn't encourage people to do you know and like alia said it's illegal if you don't have a prescription i mean don't take it it's not necessary you know yeah, and having to speak to the ladies that i spoke to this afternoon uh they were so inspirational, um, you know, like the, the one I spoke to, Nabila, was talking about how prophetic food can actually get you into mental wellness. Um, it can give you the energy you're looking for for the day and, of course, change your perspective because obviously a healthy mind and a healthy body go together. So it's what we put in is what we're going to get out. And um, I think we can, of course, substitute it with a, with a natural version that we're going to get major benefit from. And I think that's important. And, and that's what we wanted our viewers to, to know this afternoon is to watch this uh, particular docky and uh, get maximum benefit out of it because I think it gets you thinking about do you really need to have drug dependency or can you do without it and have the same quality of life that you say you're having with it? Is it going to become a norm that mm-hmm. everybody's going to take it? And if you don't, are you falling behind? Yes. 
And I think it already has, because if you look at the amount of users already in South Africa itself, I mean, as you were saying earlier, yes. it's something that had been brought to the fore recently now that we all watch the docky. But prior to that, we weren't even aware of the fact that this particular thing mm -hmm. existed. But now that it's there, I'm sure one of you is enticed into trying it out to see what it does Why for is you. Why everyone looking at me? <laughs> like, <laughs> I feel like a social experiment would be so cool to go through. Like, just put me in an environment and see how how long or how short does it take me to acquire the drug? <laughs> so then he's laughing there at the background, so I think he's going to I be our muse the for the day. It, <laughs> and Apia says he's now going to be the muse. Are you, Salelo? He's agreeing to that. So there we go. We've got a concert uh, person that's going to try it out, and he's going to let us know what sort of effect it had on him from when he took it to when he didn't take it. But um, I think drug dependency has become an in thing nowadays. And this is why people have been punting so much on, of course, going the natural way with things. And this is why we've been tapping a lot into holistic well-being and mm -hmm. holistic eating, uh, mental wellness uh, with Rukshana um, is this afternoon is to try and make people understand that there are other options out there besides this this particular thing. We don't necessarily need to take a pill. And you know what happens? It actually becomes habitual. It's something that you want to do all the yes. time because you feel it does it for you. Yeah, and I think also another like um, interesting thing that they mentioned in the documentary is that another thing that leads us to taking it is we love in, they use the term one minute society and everything is so short paced and, yeah. um, you know, basically ADHD is an attention deficit, but society is training us to have this attention deficit and then we feel like, okay, we need this because our attention span is not long enough. But do we actually have these symptoms of ADHD or is it just the society that we live in? An example is last week when we watched the documentary. I fell asleep before the end of the documentary last <laughs> week. And the documentary was only an hour long. I know Alia couldn't stay awake for this documentary. <laughs> so we've already become accustomed to short information, bursts of information throughout the whole day because long things just bore you now. You yeah, can't. I think it's inculcated. It's become the norm of the day. So you feel if there's something short, you want to watch something short, quick, full of essence, and that's it, and you want to get the gist of the story. But uh, I think sometimes you have to get into that long to be able to understand the essence of what is happening mm -hmm. around you. And that that's what happens with university because everything doesn't come easy. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's all about having to study, and, and there's a lot of reading, and there's a lot of concentration in a lecture lecture that's needed um, and sometimes you don't even get the gist of the lecture so you feel that uh, you know maybe this is an option yes um we're running out of time but a few closing statements for me would just be don't do drugs guys stay in school <laughs> But no, also, we're not taking anything away from people who do suffer with ADHD and who do have a prescription. It's it's perfectly normal. And um, we're just saying, you know, take your precautions. And if you don't need it, then don't do it. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of uh, online people, wellness coaches, and people that you can get hold of. Um, there is SEDEC that you can get hold of as well. They are really good and always hands-on. So if you need numbers for SEDEC, Google them. I'm sure you'll find them. It's very easy to come across. And there we go. We're saying go and watch the documentary. Maybe it'll give you some good food for thought and make you actually reflect on, on, on what it is that you are doing and what it is that you need in your life besides a pill. Am I right, ladies? 100%. Agreed. <laughs> are you going to still go and take that pill behind my back? No. <laughs> Okay, there we go. So go and watch it. It's called Take Your Pulse. And it's, of course, re reviewing on Netflix. So go and follow it and tell us what your take is on, of course, taking your pull. I mean, a lot of the times we find people that are in situations that really, as uh, Shazia said, necessarily have to take it due to the type of situations and circumstances they are in due to their health. But for the rest of us that don't need it, of course, there are those healthier options so do follow us on our show and you'll definitely get them stay with us we're going to go for a break but we have something very interesting after the break we're going to be having a competition and we have something to give you so go grab that cup of coffee get enticed because and definitely enter our competition follow us on facebook twitter or instagram um, that competition is running there and we have an amazing giveaway so stay with us we'll be back with you in a bit <laughs> Listen 